Hello guys, it's yourself Fatty. So, we ran out of pork steak to make pork chop, whatever I call it. So we gotta go hunting for some pig. And well, that ain't much of a pig. It's more of a duck. But, gotta please my fans. Alright, so now we've killed our pig. So now, not only that, but we've picked our macaroni for a macaroni tree. Now here comes the fun part. I get to cook it. Alright. So what you want is, again, season salt. Find out where all this is. Chili powder. And my homemade recipe, don't make too much of this, a small amount of pepper infused salt. Pepper infused salt. Is basically pepper mix of salt. Very little of this shit. This shit is strong. Almost forgot the vegetables. Give me a sec here. I need two different types of vegetables today green beans and carrots. Let's get started. Alright, first off. We'll take some cooking oil. Very lightly apply it. Like those canisters. Now, lightly, chili powder. Lightly. Season salt. And of course, the paprika infused salt. The meat's gonna be a little salty, so you don't have to use this if you don't want to, but this is my recipe. So now, open our meats. Mm, got this piggy. And now, roll it around in the salt. Again, this is a bit salty of a meal, so use less. You don't need as much flavor. This time we don't need to tenderize the meat because pork don't need no tenderizing. Not usually. So needs a little bit more. A small line here. So, now, that 
beautiful meat. Should look. Something like that. Look at that, it's like looking at trains. Now, wash your hands off. <sighs> now, can opener. Small slit. I have to pour a little bit of this onto it. Mind you, this creates a big mess when you're cooking with the juices of this stuff because it will get burnt onto your pants. It's a little extra work to clean, but I find it to add just a lot of flavor. So again, same thing with the carrot juice. Just make a small slit. Now on the top, all that spice should essentially be off. Now, it should look like that. Submerged the juices of veggies. So now let me get the oven set and we'll put this in. And we cook it at 420, cause screw it, 420 blaze it. And now you wipe down the area, you just keep that meat. So now we put in the macaroni. Now you're going to want three cups of water. And now we boil said macaroni for an undisclosed amount of time. Now if you're like me and you like to add a little bit of flavor to your macaroni, add in just a small amount of the carrot juice, just a very tiny amount. Not much. Let it boil. Now we drain it. And I use plates. I don't have a drainer that's big enough for this. Now we add the milk. You want it to like that. So now I'm gonna pause until it's ready to put the cheese in. Then I'll put the cheese in. Then I will stop the recording with the macaroni, upload this part, and part two will conclude what the meat should look like and how it tastes. Alright? Alright. Because you just need to let your meat cook until it's just right. Matter of fact, why don't I check on that? Yeah, that's got a long time. It's got about a half hour's worth of waiting. And I don't have that much battery left in my tablet right now. So, what I'll do is we'll cut to the macaroni and cheese look. And in part two, we will go ahead and show you what the meat should look like and a taste test, maybe? Stay tuned. So give me a sec here. So now we add in the cheese.
these will be quite handy. Who we'll cut the cheese? Now, macaroni should look just like that, nice and golden. So again, you guys, I'm going to have to make this a two-parter. So you'll see the meat and taste test next time on Airsoft Fatty. Higher they can soar.